Wildlife trafficking has surged in recent years, generating billions in illicit profits. Simply put, criminals are helping themselves to the environment's precious resources without a care for the cost to our planet. We need to act now to protect the world's most iconic species and prevent the destruction of finite natural resources. The transnational organized criminal networks involved are sophisticated and well-equipped. Criminals use many of the same techniques and illicit routes to traffic people, arms and drugs, further fueling unrest and insecurity. Their low-risk, high-profit crime pose a threat not only to the environment but to the rule of law and stability. As the world's largest international police organization, it is both Interpol's duty and privilege to work with our 190 member countries to tackle environmental crime. Through our environmental security program, we help police to identify and use the tools and techniques needed to develop a strong and effective response framework. We support those protecting our world's greatest natural resources and biodiversity, often a great personal risk to themselves. There is no shortage of challenges which lie ahead, but we must remain persistent and united with our partners in our joint efforts to combat wildlife crime. As Secretary General, I reiterate Interpol's commitment to tackling wildlife and forest crime across the globe to protect today's resources for tomorrow's generations.